Okay guys, so we are replacing our fridge and air gallery with a Samsung fridge. Yeah, this thing's falling apart. Uh, it's nine years old and uh, the ice maker doesn't work. Uh, the fridge is not cooling correctly. And- No, I think it's cooling about 50 degrees. That's <laughs> not good for food. But the one we're going with, with the Samsung fridge, it's a little bit bigger, and uh, but it doesn't have the ice maker. And it has more space up top for food. Well, no, it does have an ice maker. It's just on the bottom. It doesn't have an ice dispenser. Right. No big deal. We always open up the fridge and get it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we're gonna, we're gonna show you how to install that, and then we're gonna go over the Samsung fridge on the features and how to use it. It's a nice nifty uh, beer. Cooler Ooh. bit. Really you know that nice excited. 30, 40 degree beer that you can get? Oh yeah. At a restaurant or something? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it up right. So we're gonna go over how we use that and uh, how to set it up and how to put in the wire lines and everything like that. So y'all stay tuned and we'll get right into this. fridges are on wheels. So fairly simple to pull it out and then turn it and get access to the water lines. All right. So first thing we have to do is we have to take this off. This is our main water line. Now we're going to slide this fridge over here so we can hopefully slide the new fridge in. But we have to clean this area up before we get the new fridge there. Okay, so we have to get this fridge in there. Now this fridge is on wheels, so it is easy to roll, but we have to slide it, which the wheels don't do that. So we're just gonna push it. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's heavy. Dish time. Go. Turn it on. Pressured up. Nothing's leaking. Once everything is together, just go ahead and plug it in. Hear that thing purr. There it goes. Okay, so we're going to move it in place and slide it back. How do you look on your side? Uh, plenty of room. Plenty of room? Like an inch, an inch and a half. In there. Oh, Ta-da! Yeah. So about an inch and a half on this side, an inch and a half on that side. Looks good. Take this off now. You're better at me. Oh, I'm not going good. It's all stuck in these. Yeah. Oh, stuck yeah. in the cracks. Yeah, I'm going to rip it down the middle. A nice and tall. There you go. Now for the handles. So the handles are pretty self explanatory. This is the bottom one. This side faces up. It's got Allen screw, which it does give you an Allen wrench for that. And then these top ones, this is right up, left up. And it comes with these, which are Phillips head. So we just simply put these guys on. Put these guys in. Just twist them in. Put them cross throw. So 
So after you get these installed, you'll see up arrow right here, and you'll have this here. These slide in together, so you put the bottom in place, and then you slide it on, and then the Allen wrench is faced together. That way you don't see the holes when you're walking towards it. And it should be tight. You'll see an arrow this side faces up, and then this is your side with your Allen wrench, so you'll slide it in here, and then put it over. This one, you're right, if you're down here, you get done. So we got the fridge installed, and uh, me and Brandon, we, we pulled the, the unveiling, and that was the wrong thing to do. Yeah. I said you, don't, you do not take a woman's fridge, because I cook all the time, so it's my fridge. This is Daniel with Danielle's fridge. She does cook all the time. And take off the plastic on the front? No, and they did, and I was not happy about that, but I'm over it now. I'm good. <laughs> so you think. But, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So he doesn't get in trouble much. I do not. But we loaded this fridge up, and... No, actually, we put in our mm -hmm. sad little groceries, because we need to go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, they're really cold. We need more food in here. <laughs> I'm yeah. almost not wanting to show you this, but okay, here we go. There you go, y'all. There's plenty of room. There's leftovers. Oh, yeah, that's last night's leftovers. So, you see this is at zero, 37. Mm -hmm. Zero is for the freezer that's down here, and 37 is for the fridge. And this has the Twin Cooling Plus, which is supposed to have separate units for both, and also to help keep the humidity down in here, so your fresh fruit, fruits and vegetables last longer. This is your ice on or off. That is off. Wait, we don't have ice on? We'll leave that on to see if ice, because we don't have any ice yet. No ice. I think we've had it off. Okay, so we had it off. Okay. <laughs> then you have your power freezer. So this actually, I, when I clicked on that, it actually sped up the compressor. So it's like when you go grocery shopping, you have both sides powerful. And you fill your fridge and your freezer. You can put that, put them on this nifty little power freeze or power cool over here. This is for the fridge and this one is for the freezer. It bumps up the, yeah, the cooling. Yeah, like all your food gets cooled really fast from grocery shopping, which we've had major problems with that with our old fridge. Right. Oh my goodness, it was like two days. Okay, so on the freezer on this side, if you pr press it, it changes your temperature. So it goes all the way down to 8 negative and 0. What are you supposed to have your freezer on? You're supposed zero? to have your zero. Zero is what they recommend. So, yeah. Unless you're trying to, like, freeze a lot of things. Meat. <laughs> I don't know. And then on your fridge, you set your fridge. 37 is recommended. So, it will go as low as 34. But 37 is, is, is good to go. And then you have this energy uh, saver it's button. Heating up because we have it open. <laughs> you have an energy saver button, and you turn off the energy save. We don't like to save energy, so we'll leave that off, right? No, we'll turn it on. Okay, we'll turn it on. But what does that do? It's supposed to save energy. It's supposed to make your uh, your compressor hopefully run less and save more energy. Of course, if you leave the dirt doors open like this. It's nice and cool here. You're running up our electric bill. You're running up the electric bill, yeah. 
You hear that beeping? That means you had the fridge open way too long and it's not liking it. We're up to 39 degrees. But over here you have your deli setting, which is 41. I just turned it to deli because I have a lot of deli in there, so. You have your fresh, which is 38. And then you have your chilled, which is 34. Perfect for all them beers. Beer. Beer fridge, man. Beer. You know, That's like when you go to the restaurant and you get 34 degree beer. Twin Peaks did that. Yeah, we used to go there. So, beer fridge right there. So we're going to put this back on deli because she's got all deli in there. It's just right breads and, and, and butter, which will keep your butter a little softer. And cheese. And cheese. There it goes. She's chilling us again. So we'll go ahead and close these doors and we'll show you the freezer. So when you pull up on the fridge, it has a easy release. Your ice maker is right there. That's no where your ice. ice, no ice. Don't look at my groceries, people. I have to go grocery shopping and you shove that back there. And this is basically empty. That's that's our, our this turkey. This is going to be uh, our my my turkey broth. I save all my turkey bones throughout the year and I make turkey broths. That's what that is. I know it looks weird, but anyways, and then, but once I get out, get that out, but it's a lot of room actually. You could stack up quite a few meats in here. How many turkeys could we fit in there? I'm thinking, well, maybe two 15 pounders, maybe right here is what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. And yeah, so we don't have the ice yet because it's just got turned on, but yeah, it does, wait, and it does, it again. <laughs> and it does this, no, nope, it. it's got stuff in it, well it just like kind of <laughs> sections. <laughs> it itself. Third time's a charm. Okay, so we still have a lot of appliances to install. And uh, dishwasher, we have a, a new stove, and a new microwave. And we're going to go through well, all we're that. we're saving ourselves some money, and that's the reason why we're doing it ourselves. It's not that hard. How much does install thing cost? How much does... $80 for the fridge, and I think it's like 80 to $150 per item. Depending on how difficult it is. The dishwasher is the most expensive. Right. So, and we'll install that. But this fridge, we're hoping, does well. Um, of course... It, um, compared to our last fridge, that's nine years old, and it was literally rotting our food. <laughs> Any fridge, I don't care what brand it is, whatever, is going to do better than what we were dealing with. And it's pretty and shiny, too. Yeah, it's it's nice and um, elegant. This is 26 cubic foot, so it's a fairly large fridge. It is. Our other one was 22. So yeah, it's kind of larger. We just had the room for it. If you don't have a room for a 26 cubic, don't buy this one. Yeah, because it really fills up the space. The last one really didn't. And mm -hmm. I, I like the way it looks a lot better in here. So that's a good thing. And uh, guys, be sure to check out Danielle's recipes because it's a new fridge in the videos and all the pictures. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's right down there. It looks like this. If you like our channel, please subscribe. And if you're looking for that, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. And if you want the ad reminder, if you want to subscribe, hit the little bell. It does cool things. And y'all please take care.